Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bridget Warrior here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Well, happy Friday. Happy preparation day. This is the day when we get our houses in order, food all cooked, clothes all ready. So get ready to go to God's house tomorrow. Or some people might be, you know, stay at home. But nevertheless, we normally get everything ready for the Sabbath. Remember, the Sabbath is a 24-hour cycle from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. So today, I believe it's like 7.18 around that time. Okay? So we just got to make sure that we're doing what God has called us to do. Because remember, the Sabbath will be a day that we celebrate from this point until eternity. That is a day that we'll all come together and celebrate. Okay, so I've got to ask you, did you guys study, study, study? We got to study the Bible. This is where we get our divine instructions from. But not only study, we need to be doers of the Word, right? And of course, we know that we are running out of time on this earth. This wickedness is increasing, and so as wickedness is increasing, so is disease in the animal kingdom. That's why we should be careful not to be eating animal products, okay? So, of course, we also know that Jesus is a gentleman, and he keeps on knocking on the door of our heart. And he states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3.16. It's so good. God does not force his will on any of us. We just got to be the individual that say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender all. And then he comes in and he washes us and he cleans us up, right? And he just gives us that U-turn, turns us around. And we just say forever, thankful, thankful, thankful. Okay? So before we go into our scripture reading, let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. I thank you that you've given us another opportunity to get our life in order. I ask you, Father, that at this moment that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. I tell you, you can hear the birds chirping in the background. It's so beautiful. I've got one dog over there resting and another one here resting. And so scripture reading is coming from Matthew 23, Matthew 23, verses 8. And it says, But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Mm. So that was Matthew 23, verses 8. So our topic today, remember we're still dealing with the ministry of healing, the same book, and it's saved by hope. Saved by hope. So uh, let us go into that. It says, we are saved by hope. And you can find this in Romans 8, 23. The fallen must be led to feel that it is not too late for them to be men. Christ honors men with his confidence and thus place him on his honor. Even those who have fallen, the lowest he treated with respect. Let me repeat that. Even those who have fallen, the lowest he treated with respect. It was a continual pain to Christ to be brought into contact with enmity, depravity, and impurity. But never did he utter one expression to show that his sensibility was shocked or his refined tastes offended whatever the evil habits the strongest prejudice or the overbearing passion of human beings he met them with all pity tenderness as we partake of his spirit we shall regard all men as brethren with similar temptations and trials often falling and struggling to rise again Battling with discouragement and difficulties, craving sympathy and help. Then we shall meet them in such a way as not to discourage or repel them, but to awaken hope in their hearts. As they are thus encouraged, they can say with confidence, Rejoice not against me, O my enemies, when I fall. I shall arise 
when I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. He will plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. And you can find this in Micah uh, 7, uh, to, um, verses 8 and 9. God looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioneth their hearts alike. And you can also find this in uh, Psalms 33, 14, and 15. He bids us in dealing with the tempted and the erring, consider thyself, lest thou also be tempted. And you can find this in Galatians 6, 1. With a sense of our, our own infirmities, we shall have compassion for the infirmities of others. Oh, okay. And it says, who make it thee to defer from another? And why hast thou not, let me go back. Who make it thee to defer from another? And what hast thou that thou does it not receive? One is your master. Hey, how are you, girl? Hope you're doing well. It says, Why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at not thy brother? Let us not therefore judge one another, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Let me repeat that. Why does thou judge thy brother? Or why does thou set at not thy brother? Let us therefore judge, let us not therefore judge one another, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block on an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Okay? And you can also do some further study in uh, Corinthians 4, 7, Matthew 23, 8, and that was our, our scripture reading for today. Or you can also find this in Romans 1, actually Romans 14, 10 to 13. Okay? So that concludes Save by Hope. So on Monday, we're going to go in into pointing out arrows. That will be on Monday. So, you know, just go ahead and go back and study those scripture. Galatians 6, 1, Psalms 33, 14, and 15. Uh, and then um, Micah 7, um, chapter 7, verses 8 to 9. So we as individuals, as children of God, we need to be studying, studying to show ourselves approved because there's going to be a lot of stuff happening um, in, on this world, but you, it's a spiritual battle that we up against. So when you see things going on, you just you, sometimes we we can't see it, but God knows what is best for each one of us, and that's why I keep on stating He gives each one of us a bitter cup. So whatever you're going through, my sister and brother, stop complaining, stop. Uh, talking about it because what it does it intense it and it makes it even worse because you're putting too much energy and in negativity we should put more energy on praising God does that make sense so as we get the bitter cup okay and you want to put a little bit sweetener in there because remember the bitter cup God is giving us the bitter cup each one of us to cleanse us to purify us because he knows there's something within us that is not of him so how can he how can he get rid of it he has to cleanse us so that's where we get the bitter cup different things happening in our lives is different things so when we got to make sure that to put some sweetener in here put put some sweetener in there we got to do um, prayer endurance and patient, patient, endurance, and prayer. Patient, endurance, and prayer, okay? So put some pep in your step, okay? So just make sure that you are doing that, my sister and brother. And I know that life happens to all of us, and all of us is at a different levels. So that's why we just need to be encouraging each one, each other. And if we see our brothers or sister falling, we go to them in private and encourage them because we might see something, but then that's not really what's going on. So we need to go to the individual privately 
and talk with them and encourage them, right? Because don't we all need encouragement? That's what God put us out here, here for. We all need to encourage one another. All of us have different things that we're going through. All of us. If you are, if you are six feet above the ground, you are going through something. You might maybe just came out of something or just about to go into something. Or you might, you know, so wherever we find ourselves, we just need to give praise and honor and glory to God. Okay? So here is the hymn. Work for the night is coming. Work for the night is coming. Work through the morning hours. Work while the dew is sparkling. Work mid springing flowers. Work while the day grows brighter under the glowing sun. Work for the night is coming when man work is done. Work for the night is coming. Work through the sunny noon. Fill brightest hours with labor. Rest come sure and soon. Give every flying minute something to keep in store. Work for the night is coming when man works no more. Work for the night is coming under the sunset skies. While the, while the bright tints are glowing, work for the daylight flies. Work till the last beam faded, faded to shine no more. Work for the Lord is coming when men work is over. And we know Jesus is coming soon. Jesus, that's the good news. Jesus is coming soon and the Sabbath is still the Sabbath. And the Sabbath is Saturday, not Sunday. God gave us the Saturday because it's of his creation. He rested as an example. And so he gave us that one day to focus on him, not Sunday. Sunday is a man's day. There's nowhere in scripture can you find that God tell us to go to church on Sunday, my sister, my brother. So he's calling individual out of all those churches to come under his banner. And the banner and the seal of God is the individual that decided to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of their life will be worshiping on Saturday, not Sunday, because it's God's day. So that's a distinction between God's people and Satan's people, okay? But like I stated before, God has children in all these different churches, and he's calling them out under his banner, under his banner. And so that's why we as individuals, we encourage one another. We tell, we state, you know, go to the scripture, read it, search it out. There's no way in scripture you could find that God tells us to worship on the first day of the week, Right? Remember, if you go back into the book of, book of Luke, I think it's like the 23th chapter, um, he t tells us that he rested in the grave on Saturday and he rose on the first day of the week, Sunday. So how could Sunday be the Sabbath when God himself rested, Jesus rested in the tomb on the Sabbath hours? Okay, so we got to be make sure, my sister, my brother, we cannot be continue listening to different pastors and false teaching. We got to go back to the word. The word is our guideline. This is our book. This is what we're going to base. So whether or not we um, don't study or we take the Bible, like some people are doing, burning the Bible or whatever. Listen, the Bible is God's uh, blueprint. It's in heaven. So whatever we do with this, it doesn't matter. God is the one that's the creator of heaven and earth. And he has already established his law. And his laws cannot change, no matter what we do or we don't do. So we need to make sure that we are studying like we have never studied before. And search it out for yourself. I've given you all the, um, all the help that, you, that I can give you. But like I say, I can give you as much as I can, but it's up to you to do the research. I mean, even this has a lesson in itself, and then you got the great controversy here. So we have to study, my sister, my brother, study. Why is it that you go into church on Sunday and then the individuals that's going to church on Sabbath why are you going to church on Sabbath is it just to uh, it's just a show or are you really connected with God and so God is the one that's going to do the separation the wheat and the tears has to uh, be there in the churches so when somebody see us we, we got to make sure 
that we are the living example of what Christ is, right? If we say we are Christian, meaning that we are followers of Jesus Christ, we are not followers of the world. So the world has a low standard, and the standard of the world is getting lower and lower. God's standard is very high, and the only way we can reach this high standard is by connected with the Father, because it's only by His power that we are going to be able to reach that high standard, right? Because we cannot do it of ourselves. Remember, we are we are wicked. We want like the easy road, right? And the easy road is like doing what we want to do. You know, don't tell me anything. I do what I want to do. And that's fine. People can do what they want to do. But at the end of the day, God will be the judge, isn't it not? God will be the judge. So I have made up my mind that I will go with the Lord wherever he sends me. Okay, that's that's one. That's my decision. That's my decision. But each one of us have to make the decision for ourselves. So, my sister, my brother, I just hope that you will be able to say, "Lord Jesus, come soon, come soon." You know, I'm ready. I'm ready. You know, and whatever maybe my struggling, because we all struggle, we just have to ask Him for power to leave whatever it is that is not of Him. Leave it alone, because remember, we have to be holy people when Jesus comes, or if he should put us to sleep, or if, she, or if we should die before he comes, we also have to make sure that once we die, we die in Christ. We die holy people, right? So when, we, when he comes, he will raise us up, remember? The dead in Christ raise up first, goes up first, and then those individuals that are alive will meet the, the Lord in the air. So Jesus will not touch this earth when he comes back the second time, we'll, we'll be caught up into the heavens. And that's where we're going to meet. And then we go to heaven for a thousand years. And you can find this in the book of Revelation. So my sister, my brother, just go ahead, study, study, study like you've never studied before. So let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father, I just thank you, Father. I just thank you for being the God of heaven and earth, Father, for being the God, Father, that looks down and sees us, Father. And Father, just we just thank you, thank you. We could never be um, able to give you all the praise that you desire, Father. So, Father, we ask you, Father, that you will continue to humble us. Humble us, Father, with anything that is within us that is not like you, Father. We ask you that you would clean us up, Father. Clean us up and make us whole, Father. Forgive us for where we have failed thee is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, my brothers, my sister, have a super awesome day. And if this was a blessing to you, save to hope. So this topic, somebody needs to hear. Somebody needs to hear an encouraging word for the day. Okay, so go ahead and share, share, share. Until um, Monday, um, we will talk then. Take care and have a happy Sabbath and have a great weekend. Take care.